Let's check in now with Greg D. We've been talking about the cold weather. It was really cold yesterday, Greg D. It really was, uh, but this is not related to really the pattern that we're seeing here in Tampa. And your details this morning, an interesting analysis from the folks at Climate Central. This is Tampa's records highs and lows going back to the 1890s. And what they have noticed, not just in Tampa, but in other parts of the United States, by analyzing 247 locations, that back in the late 1800s and early 1900s, we were setting record highs and lows at about an equal number. There was a bump in record highs during the Dust Bowl era, and then things kind of returned to normal through the 50s. And now it seems like, well, things have really accelerated. In fact, in the last four years, 88% of the locations that they analyzed set more record highs than lows. And the top three cities, Tampa, Miami and Phoenix set mostly record highs. In fact, Tampa is seeing the most climate change of any city in the United States. In the last four years, we have set 114 record highs and zero record lows. We are leading that list here across the United States. It is probably and most likely related to increasing water temperatures and the fact that the bay has been warmer than it's ever been during the winter months. That prevents the temperature in downtown Tampa from falling too quickly, just like we saw yesterday when most of Hillsborough County fell back into the 30s. Downtown Tampa stayed in the low 40s, nowhere near the record low for the day. I'll post this chart on my Facebook page. Really interesting analysis if you want to get into some of the nitty gritty details there.